What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome back. Welcome back to Maxify Seminar. Today, we're talking about, you could call it a movie, and you could call it an episode. Or you could call it a series of choices. Black Mirror Bandersnatch. So, if you don't know, Black Mirror is a series on Netflix that's about technology going too far. It's about living in a society. A society controlled by technology. A society close to the society we live in. Yes, it's like, it's basically the Twilight Zone of the... Of the modern day. Yes. Instead of being afraid of aliens and uh, global warfare and nuclear destruction... We're now afraid of technology. Technology bad. Yes. Right, Alexa? <laughs> so, basically, Bandersnatch is an extended episode where you're able to make choices. So on the surface, Bandersnatch is about this young game developer who is struggling to adapt this novel about making choices into a video game. But things start to go awry when he realizes that his choices in real life are seemingly out of his control, which they are, because we're making them. And not only this, making a choice and then going back and then making a different choice or going back and making the same choice counts as its own choice. Yeah, it's like if you go back and do the same choice twice, it's different than doing it once. It's crazy. So trying to like figure out this movie is like trying to figure out a time travel movie, but even worse. Because, because you it's have to time choose. travel and there's choices. Yeah. And so the little thing on Netflix says that this is an hour and 30 minutes. And um, that's just a straight up lie. We, we spent like <laughs> four and a half hours on it. This was a four and a half hour project getting to uh, what we think is the best ending. I think we got every choice uh, except for one. Yeah. Uh, and wow. okay basically this uh, normally i don't even know where to start okay i'm just gonna start okay. normally when you get to choose your own movie it's like janky it's like uh bear girls is like do you want to eat this or not and you're like no he's like i'm gonna eat it anyways yeah so and we, nothing we tried the same the same gimmick was used after this in different things on netflix and we first like a couple of years ago we tried the bear girls one and like you said you it, don't it's have a choice. Gimmick. It's just one straight line. It and just splits really, off. Really, Banner Snatch is very similar on a lot of its choices, but it uses that concept like reflexively to build its mystery. Like part of the whole story of Banner Snatch is that the choices are like, actual, like aren't actually real. Like the character is aware, almost, of the people. And that's one of like, the biggest things about this movie. It's so meta and it's so ingrained in itself and it's so self-reflexive that there's no way they could do it again. This story is so calibrated to be perfectly matched to this gimmick. It works so well because the story is about this like fallacy of making choices and then making choices is, is part of the story. Yeah, so... And it changes depending on the choices you make, but regardless... And I should point out, it's seamless. No matter what choice you make, you're not like, that's janky. It's not like there's continuity errors. It's like perfectly... I could imagine this movie probably took like years to make. It's um, like five hours of footage total or something, but it's crazy because going through it multiple times, which is how it's designed to do, once you like reach a dead end, it resets you to the last choice you made. <laughs> that was wrong. Going through it multiple times, it's like there are subtle differences and it's it's such an engaging experience to sit there and like... Like stuff it, you might not even notice is different. And it's just that attention to detail that they have is... It's like, it's weird because the more times you reset, your character still knows some things. Yes, and that's, so, that's the craziest thing because you know things, because you've seen it. But the, the banner snatch knows that and so it uses that to its advantage and it knows you know so it knows too and so right. when you go through it again things will be one letter different <laughs> yeah seriously instead was... of c s it's x in one version yeah um and we didn't even see it so we had to restart i should add there's a pretty some pretty funny moments in this like uh there's one choice you can make where he realizes that he's on set Yes, I love that choice. <laughs> uh, we need to talk about one character in particular. 
Well, first let's address all the characters. Um, this movie is aggressively British with the <laughs> accents, um, but there's one character that stands out, and if you've seen it, you already know who I'm, who I'm talking about right now. <laughs> the character's name is Colin. He's played by Will Poulter, who you might know as the kid with the eyebrows. Yeah, um, so basically, this is his most funny performance. Like, there's parts where it's just fully just fast-forwarding through the movie, Okay, so he's okay. So it's your main character's aware of the choices you make, and so is Colin. So <laughs> it goes back and fast forwards through the whole movie, but then Colin's like, "Okay, skip this part," and he does that, and it goes like twenty minutes later. Fuck's sake, I'll skip it for you. You don't even know how to get back to this part to get the footage of it to show you because it this happened like on our fifth go through. Yeah, it was and like, that was like at least two and a half hours into this mess. Uh, he also has some pretty funny parts. I'm sure you can put that part in. Uh, <laughs> that There's one part where if you choose to follow Colin, please make that choice if you play this game. This is the best. This is the I mean, It's so funny. It's, it's, you're going to see it eventually if you play the Banner Snatch, how it is designed. I would but recommend this. Whole session, this. It's, like a, it's just this monologue from Colin, this character, it, it's in this goofy, terrible accent, and it's so funny. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it just is. <laughs> I don't know why it works so well. It might It's partially visual effects, it's partially the accent, it's partially the the performance. It's a lot of it is the performance. I've never seen a Choose Your Own where some of the characters in it are aware of what it is. And it's just crazy. And, like, Black Mirror, the show... Um, as a whole, it, it's like, it, it's a lot of just really good. It's, it's, it's very conceptual stuff and it's really cool con concepts and we might do another review soon on like top five Black Mirror episodes or something, but that's maybe the only critique I have of Bandersnatch is it doesn't quite fit into Black Mirror. I agree, but there's a reason for it. If they would have fit it into a Black Mirror theme, uh, it wouldn't work as well. So, another thing that's really interesting is, like, say you make a choice, it's like, either it does nothing, or it impacts everything. Like, for example, what kind of cereal you have in the morning. Like, maybe it doesn't <laughs> yeah, matter. Maybe it doesn't matter, or maybe, maybe that's the only way to get the good ending, is yeah. to start with Frosted Flakes. So... If you have time, and you're definitely going to need more than 90 minutes I mean, for this. I mean, the truth is, you can turn this off whenever you want and come back to it, uh, because it's Netflix. So, you don't have to sit down for five hours. It would almost be like watching a series. You could just go in, like, every once in a while, play for 45 minutes, and that's it. Just um, try it out. Test it out. See if... I know a lot of people thought it was just kind of a gimmick. And it definitely is a gimmick. I don't see it returning in any way. But, like, <laughs> just experiencing this... This is done so well. It feels like a video game, but, like, it's... It's crazy. It's so cool. It's interactivity. On another It's level. not that much interactivity, but it's enough to make it so... Netflix knows everything about you. So... It's, so, when you think of Choose Your Own, it's normally, like, the character says something, and he's like, what do you think... And then you choose. But in this one, it's like you're controlling this guy. Like, he do, he he's not even, like, conscious of you. You're just making decisions for him. But he is, becomes conscious of you. He does. Um, and that's why it's so great. It's because it's so meta. So if you have five hours to spare, definitely go check it out. Um, it might take you less time if you really luck out. I mean, but, we uh, were like... We were like, so the only reason it took us so long is because we did it, we got to the ending, and we we're like, I'm not huh, satisfied. Yeah, what What if we would have done Toasted O's instead? So, that's how so it happened. So we restarted, and we did it a lot of times in a row. Uh, but I encourage you, that I think that's the best way to experience this. So, go check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm basically, I'm giving it two stars out of two. And I'm giving it two stars out of two as well, making it full marks, four out of four stars. So this has been a, a bit of an informal 
review again. I mean, um, I guess this is just the the new standard for Maxify Seminar. But I've been Max. I've been Blake. This has been Maxify Seminar. And we'll see you in the next one.